Welcome to Mars. So um, you recently linked up with um, FOD, and um, people want to know what, um, what was the idea process, the thought process behind doing that? Shit. I mean, I was already fucking with him, you feel right. me? We was already fucking with him and shit. Bro, was a good nigga. You know what I'm saying? He, he want to see everybody win, so shit. Sure. But I was kid, but I was doing my own thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. I had just dropped my Born Again album. We was letting that do what it do. You feel me? I was seeing what my next move was and shit. Bro was on the same page I was on. He was, he like, fuck it. I'm gonna go fuck with June. If I'm gonna fuck with somebody else, I'm gonna go fuck with bro. Like, you feel me? So he, sure. we tapped in with them. He tapped back. And, you yeah, and, and a lot of people like if they notice, they'll see that you you did a lot of shit with them leading up to that. It's yeah. not like you just linked up and you guys just got together. You started doing some records and some videos. That's how y'all hanging out. Yeah. So you guys got to really know each other and then made that decision. Yeah, before yeah. anything. Like, you know. That's what's up. So, um, so you're, I'm assuming you're very happy with what you decided. Oh, no, for sure, I'm yeah, for sure. Definitely. All right. So tell us about this new project, Thug Child. Shit. That was the first pro. That was the first project me and me and Brad did together at Man FOD. Me and Phil, I did that. We put that album together. Shit, Thug Child just really me basically speaking on you. know what I'm saying where a nigga come from. Yeah, the trenches basically. And uh, you got some good features on there. You got some. How did you get up with uh, Blaster? Shit, uh, Phil had bust that move. That's what's up. Yeah, feel bust that mode with him. Definitely, definitely. And then the, uh, obviously the back end remix. Tell us about that. What what was it about uh, the timing right now that you thought right now would be a good time to go ahead and do that? Because it's been a minute since the original came out. What made you come back, double back around, and throw some uh, some of your homies on it? We already was we we already had the thought process on that like, that we was gonna get a remix to it, but we just didn't know who to grab and who was gonna put on it. But once I got with Bruh. You know, he moved quick. Like, <laughs> yeah. he, you told him what you were thinking. He said, all right, that's done. Yeah, he instantly, well, he, we talked about doing a remix to that motherfucker. I was going to put him on there. But shit, I turned around. He already was, he already touched bases that's and put up. the record together. So, And how is it having somebody like that um, on your team or on their team, or however you want to put it, that, that you know has your best interest and they're looking out for you, even though, because, you know, Filthy's an artist too. Yeah. And uh, you know, he could be getting features for himself, but he's turning around and making sure that his guy is in a good position. How is that as opposed to just doing it how you were doing it before by yourself with your own team? That shit cool. It's, it's it play a big part. Right. You feel me? Because you got you gotta think. He a CEO. So he could be sitting there playing CEO. Just right. CEO. He plays CEO, manager, PR, A and R. He play everything. Like you feel me? Right. And he gonna do shit when you don't even know what's going on. Right. You, don't, you don't even know what's happening, but it's, it's going to be done already. That's Before you up. even think about going to do it, he's going to already have it done. That's so that shit, he, he for sure play a big part in that shit, though. And then, uh, uh, you know, um, I just wanted to point out a lot of artists don't see it as as uh, beneficial to actually, you know, get get help out here. You know what I mean? It's not even help. It's like you guys are more of a partnership. It's not like he signed you. He's he's working with you. You know what Most I mean? You're still leading your, your push, but he's there to assist. And a lot of artists out here, I think that if they um, humbled themselves just a little bit and thought, hey, you know, let me ask bro what he thinks or let me get advice from bro. And it doesn't even have to be big bro. It could be bro. Y'all are equals. Um, what is it about you that you don't, you know what I mean? You're able to humble yourself and say, you know what I mean? I could take advice or help or guidance from somebody that is the same as me. Because first, first you gotta remember, you you don't know everything. Don't nobody know everything. Learn new shit every day. A young nigga could teach an OG nigga something. You feel me? Same way an OG nigga could teach a young nigga something. Nowadays, the young niggas is teaching all the older niggas something. Like you feel me? But at the end of the day, bruh. I'd rather take advice from a motherfucker that know what I like know more than me in the game that we in. He know more than me. He in the he been doing this shit. He was doing this shit way before me. You feel me? And he ran a he ran a, a whole label. He didn't dealt like he didn't been in the he been in the game to to see every obstacle and every aspect of what need to be done when it comes to a label when it comes to pushing the artist. You feel me? 
Yeah. And just me being around him and just seeing it from a distance, I already saw it, but being around him and seeing him do it, it's a whole total different ball game. You see that, okay, this nigga can run the label. Like he know how to really run the label. Like and he doing it to the neck. For sure. Like he one man doing all this shit by himself. Like, for sure. Doing... We need to definitely get Filthy Rich's flowers. No, shout, for sure. Shout out to Filthy Rich. You gotta think how labels do. Labels got a big team, like when it comes to a record label, like they got team, a big team. You know what I'm saying? Them, your team, the team, your team, then they could be in different states. That's how much many people you need for a label. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, and those are all professional. And these professional, yeah, yeah. these professional. That's ones. what they do. This is what they like. They went <laughs> it's to not the homie this. trying to just make it happen. That they got all the connects. They got the Rolodex with everybody's number in it. Like you said, you were thinking about the remix, and bro just said, Ch -ch -ch, and then the next thing and you know, done. yeah. So with the team and the label, you know, that's definitely a smart move, bro. I commend you for that for sure. Yeah, yeah. So he really pushed, like he really moving, like I don't know. He's just shit. he had one band, he had one man army when he comes to the label shit. That's like, what's up. And he's got a team working for him too. So right. That's what's up. He like one whole team himself when it comes to this shit. So, so you know, I mean, a wise man said, it, if you're the smartest man in the room, you need to get in another room. Straight up. You can't learn something if you're the smartest man in the room. Real talk, man. How you gonna, how you gonna be a smart nigga if you don't listen to a smart nigga? For sure. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So I'm gonna listen to the smart ones. So, so what's coming up for uh, Young Junior? What could we expect uh, in the near future from you? Uh, so I got this new album that I got coming right now. We've been working on. I got another one. We're gonna drop. I got a few more videos. We're gonna get ready to drop. You feel me? So, they can stay tuned for that. That's what's up. And how can people reach you online to go ahead and uh, follow you, book you for shows, uh, get your uh, features, all that? How can they reach you and find you online? Oh, shit, they can, uh, some of y'all probably already know my Instagram, bro. They can go follow me at Young Junior. You feel me on Instagram? You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Anything else you want to leave your uh, supporters with? Shit, man, y'all. You're going to shut it down in Modesto tonight, right? You already know what it is, man. Like I say all the time, man, keep doing what y'all doing. If y'all working on something, y'all y'all, got some artistry going on. Whatever y'all got going on, man, stay dedicated to that shit. Don't stop. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get their chance, man. And don't be out here hating on nobody, man. Real talk. You ain't going to get nowhere like that. You That's know what I'm the saying? message of the day. Don't hate. Real you heard talk. it from Young Junior. It's Junior. Mars Radio, Young Junior, and we out.